So let's start with, because this was the thing that we, yeah. we started on before, yeah. uh, was the new steak knife. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a... There we are. Isn't that an awesome knife? Right, I'm going to hand it to you. Okay. All right, so I mean, steak knife actually came about last year. Um, I was walking around and I kept seeing La Giole. And it, what I realized was that it was an everyday carry item for the time, right? Yeah. A pocket knife that yeah. was very popular. And then they took it and they made a table knife out of it. And I realized that transition from notoriety and, and recognition to almost anonymity of just it being so widespread. And I thought, how fun would it be to try and do that with the Quiken? And it, it's such a clean design that I thought, you know, for a table knife, I mean, really, it, it works very well. So I pitched Boker and with a little bit of convincing, they went for it. So we have the, the steak knife. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, you, you don't need them for a good, sharp knife, but most right. steak knives right. are serrated. Okay, so the reason that steak knives were serrated originally was that they used soft metal. That's when, when they started serrating the knives, basically. It wasn't due to sharpness, it was just due to they weren't using hardened steel. So at this point, steak knife, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Good steel, fine edge. <laughs> it might, maybe it's a little too sharp, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, I mean, that's the next thing that I'm, I'm gonna, gonna mention. I have very nearly yeah. eaten on plates with a lot of my knives, yeah, yeah. and then I can't bring myself to cut onto right. ceramic. You know what? That's the point. It's. I know guys that eat with their quikens, they're folders yeah. it's still a table knife so use it maybe it gets a little bit dull doesn't matter it's sharpen it you know but modern steel good edge it sh it'll be fine anytime you're cutting on porcelain a knife's gonna get dull yeah but I just as soon use something that I like <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> yeah so uh, there's yeah. such, a, such a difference you know when you go to different restaurants yeah. and the cutlery that they provide right gives you a really different feel yeah and so much of what we like I think you know maybe maybe our wives wouldn't allow at the table but I like to think that maybe this is clean enough and simple enough design that we can we can get it in some households and you know I think it's a, yeah a, a, I ran it by my by Maddie my wife first and I said what do you think and she was like yeah okay she said no screws I want fins you know yeah. don't make it look like a like a weapon yeah. make a knife and make it clean for the table and it's fine so and and using the uh, in fact in the history of the the quake and folder yeah. uh, I mean this is a G10 so yeah this is a G10 so were they were the originals G10 so scales? the originals were micarta okay. the original was micarta and now we have that, a few is that your original or the Boca original uh, Honestly, the first ones I made were probably, the first run was probably G10 and Micarta. I had some olive drab ones and I had some, I think, two-tone G10. So it's it's Just right like in there. Just paranoid moment. Yeah. Okay. We're good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, oh no, I'm going to have no oh, audio. No audio. Gonna... You're going to have to lip read. <laughs> so, and then... The other thing that's with this, with this that's fun, we're actually doing two versions, right? Because at the end of the day, it's still, it's three millimeter thick steel, flat ground blade. It's still a very capable, small fixed blade. So we're gonna offer it in a two piece set and we're gonna offer it as a one piece with a Kydex sheath. And we'll be adding some jimping for the, the carry fixed blade version. You see, now I can think of the ultimate set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have dinner and duel. The, 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 the knife, <laughs> fork, eat right. with the Kydex. Right. Or yeah, we might we might have to work on the fork. I like that idea. <laughs> I are we allowed good. to talk now? I was going to say, are we allowed to talk yeah. about a fork? Yeah, we can we can talk about a fork. It's pretty early early it, days. Yeah, it's pretty early days, but I'm gonna I think I'll see what I can do. So <laughs> because I like it's, it. the, it's the matching style. Right. I mean. Yeah, I know, agree. You know that very often. 
a steak knife, right. somebody orders steak, right. another knife comes out and it's different. Yeah, yeah, that, absolutely. So that is right. It's normal. common to have, yeah, yeah, but it would be nice to have a match set as well. So yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll start on some designs and see how Boker feels about it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the spoon. Yeah, of course. Yeah, full set, full range. No, but it, I mean, you know, it, it's it's transitioned from. The, the folder that right. I am very familiar right. with, I'm not familiar with the right. fixed blade yeah. version. Um, the, the lines of it, it, it just, it's sort of slightly narrower, yeah. and but as yeah. clean and beautiful. Yeah, and we even took the pin placement from the folder. You know, this is decorative, but we kept the pivot point. It's like, yeah. It's like because I wanted it to feel, I wanted it to feel familiar. You know, on the Lagiole, they kept the lock bar on top. So you look at it and it yeah. looks like a folder. And I just loved it. I thought, God, how amazing like that that has become so widespread. Like yeah. I was always disappointed that they weren't folders. Right, right. You want it to be a folder. <laughs> it looks like so one. at least now and you can do the same there, but at least now you can you can get a folding version, you can get your fixed version. It's fine. So yeah. <laughs> And then underneath it's all um, relieved for weight so it's skeletonized underneath the other thing you, that we've found you haven't got a bear one have you i don't shows. i don't you can, and basically it's just pocketed yeah inside so there's about a you know a 3 16 border but and that and when when you were doing that yeah um were there some uh sort of different attempts to get the balance to change did you no, it's it's pretty. It handle handle balance depends on material too. So G10 is a little bit heavier than Micarta. Both of them are heavier than wood. So the goal was to remove some weight, but because of the nature of the knife, I wasn't worried about making it like a true balance, but just close, you know. And it's yeah. also Quigan's also a little long in the handle. So if you look at the blade length to the handle length, there it's obviously not going to balance right in the middle. Yes, but, but it's in the hand. Yeah, in the hand. It, so feels, it feels light. Exactly. And, uh, you know, you, you can rock it about your first finger. And right. Yeah, it should maneuver. With kitchen knives, I think a lot of times, even having a little forward weight is good. It's all about how it feels just in the hand. So it's it's a constant, it's a balance, you know. But, yeah, so. I, I really look forward to seeing what you... <laughs> What you come up with for, yeah. for a fork? For a fork, yeah. It would make a great like hobo set of Quiken, you know. <laughs> Someone yesterday was like, I really want a Quiken beard comb, a flipping Quiken beard comb, and I was like, come on. <laughs> like, I kind of love the idea, so I might, I might play with that too. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. This stuff, like, they're knives. It's easy to take them serious because it's knives, but at the end of the day, it's stuff that we carry and use and have fun with. So why not have fun with it? Yeah, you know, it's still serious. 